I've got something really cool to share in this video, and I think it could have a positive impact in your online business. Now, if you have a business that might do a better job of communicating the value of your product or service by being able to dynamically have a calculation form on your website, I'll give you an example. I just launched my brand new product about a week ago and it's called Presto Player and it is awesome. If you deliver video on your website, you definitely wanna check this out. But this video is not about Presto Player. Of course, I have to squeeze in a plug every chance I can get. Now, one of the things with Presto Player that you can do is store your videos on a service called BunnyNet. BunnyNet is amazing. It's a content delivery network, but you can also deliver video and audio files. I've made many videos on it, and a lot of people here on the channel use BunnyNet. But the confusion that was coming up with regards to people that were buying Presto Player was how much is bunny neck going to actually cost because it's like a metered type of pricing. So I got the idea in my head, I need a calculator on my website. And then I got the idea of how the heck do I make a calculator on my website? Oh, and guess what? This video is how to make a calculator on your website and use it as a sales tool. So here's a calcula calculator that I built in under 10 minutes. It's like crazy what you could do with technology and out without a line of code. So uh, I have this doc here and I'm gonna expand on this calculator. And right here is a cost calculator that I was able to build for a bunny net so it would reduce support requests, but I'm gonna expand this and put it on the homepage. And it's simple. There's three fields here. Actually, I was just making a video on this. Let me do, okay, there we go. I cleared out my, my fields. So there's three field, two, two fields and then a calculator calculation field and it was so easy to set up. So right here, someone can put their estimated storage they'll use. So let's just put a 10 for 10 gigabytes. And as soon as I do that, you can see the cost starts calculating for me. So, so there's no question of what this is going to cost. And then check this out. How much bandwidth am I going to use? Let's just say I'm going to use 300 gigabytes of bandwidth. Bam, a dollar eighty. I'm gonna pay a dollar eighty per month with BunnyNet. I literally built that in ten minutes. It was so easy to do. Now I'm actually gonna expand upon it. I'll get some time this weekend, and I'm gonna have it be where someone chooses the service, a Presto Player versus a different service, and then when they click that, it's going to reveal some fields, calculation fields, and I'm gonna calculate how much you can save if you go this route or how much you'll save if you go this route. And it's gonna be a very convincing sales tool for a Presto player of what you can save going over services like Vimeo, VooPlayer, Spotlighter, whatever it's called this week. And um, Wistia is a big one because that's so dang expensive. And Amazon S3 is very expensive, uh, even though this will support a lot of those services. Uh, anyways. That's not what this video is about. It's about how we're gonna create one of these things. It is so easy, let me show you how. So we're gonna use a form plugin. So you're gonna have to pay for it, but don't worry, it's super cheap. And I even asked them for a discount code and there's a 20% off coupon down below. So there's a link in the coupon and you're gonna save yourself 20%, which is pretty awesome. Fluent Forms, a lot of people on the channel already have Fluent Forms anyway. Um, and it does everything. So when I scroll down, it does all this stuff, but uh, what I was in interested in and I was shocked at how easy it is is uh, the calculations so uh, it says calculation here there's calculated fields it's so stinking easy to do here's the cost of the plugin anyway uh, for a single site it's 59 and then uh, there's other options and there's lifetime options but you get to save 20 percent uh, but you can use this for tons of things and I'm already using it for tons of things. So let's go ahead and make a calculated form. So here I am on the back end of my website. Normally I don't show this kind of stuff, but that's fine. You can see I have it right here, Fluent Forms Pro. And when I click on it, you can see I've got the bunny net calculator that I created. And what's cool is I can put the short code anywhere I want. And there's also a Gutenberg block. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna do add new form and I'm gonna do this all ad hoc. Um, okay, I'm gonna click on create form right here. And then here's my form. So I'm gonna get out. We have these form fields right here. And uh, I'm gonna need the number field. So right here is the numeric field. I'm gonna click on it and then there it is. And I'm gonna 
do it another one because there's going to be two of these. And then I'm going to drop in the calculation field, which is underneath advanced. And where are you, Mr. Calculated Form? That's right. It's actually a numerical form where I just check a box. So let me go back here, general fields. And so I've got my three numeric fields and I'll get them to be in columns side by side in a moment. Uh, that's really easy as well. So I have these here and what I need to do is click on this little edit icon for each field. So I'm going to give it a label and you can see there's the label right here. So for this one, I'll name it, how about estimated storage used, which is probably what I named it on the other one. But then when we want to go down here and play around with the number format, so you can choose the format you want. This is mainly decimals, des decimals or no decimals. I didn't want decimals for my calculation, so I just wanted whole numbers. So I chose that. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for this second field right here. And this time I'll put estimated bandwidth used and I'm going to do the same thing on the number format uh, without decimal right there. Now, here's where it gets fun in our third numerical field, which I'm going to turn into a calculation. So let's go ahead and put a label here. There it is, estimated monthly cost. And now when I go into the advanced options, there's an option here that says enable calculation. And we just put our math calculation in there. So for BunnyNet, it's so cheap, it's going to be the storage used times three cents and then band plus bandwidth used times half a penny. So this is how I did that. I went here and it's showing me all the fields in the form. So it's storage used and then I'll put a space and I'm going to put the multiplication and I'm going to go 0 0.03 for three cents space and then I'll put the plus sign and then I'll put another space and now I'm going to go with the bandwidth used right there and I'll put a space and I'll go ahead and enter in times 0 0.005 there's my calculation and it gets better. So you can see right there, now that I have my calculation and the color of the field changes, so it's obvious to someone that they don't go in there and enter something. But then check this out, you can prefix a label and you can have a label at the end. So for here, I can put the dollar sign and then right here, I can put maybe per month. Let's see, I haven't even tried this, per month. Mm, that looks good to me. Okay, so now, what we need to do is get rid of this button right here. And that's actually very easy to do. I had to ask them how to do that and they showed me it's so easy. So I'll go to my advanced fields and there's this option here that says custom submit button. So I need to add a custom submit button. And then what I want to do is add a hidden field. And so here's a hidden field just to make things nice and tidy. I'll move that hidden field up. So now let me go to the submit button. I'm going to go here. So I have a hidden field. Someone can't fill this out. And I'm going to go to the submit button and I'm going to say show this submit button if there's a value in the hidden field, which is impossible, which means you'll never see the submit button. So Okay, so I'm in my submit button right here and I want to scroll down to my advanced options and then there it is conditional logic. Yes. And then uh, right here, I'm going to say if the hidden field right here is uh, equal is not equal to blank. So it's always going to be blank. And so let's go ahead and click on save form and then I can click on this to preview the design and there it is. I've got my dollar sign. I got it saying per month. Now let me show you how to get it uh, in a three column format, which is insanely easy. So when I click on input fields, there's a container option here. And I went with this uh, three row container option. And then I just dragged and dropped everything in there. So I should have probably started this way. So I'm going to drag and drop that in. Boom. And here's the second field, drag and drop that in, boom. And then my calculation, drag and drop that in. And then I will just actually move this whole column above everything. Come on, let's go up there, guys. Here we go. And what am I doing? I don't know. It doesn't even matter. Okay, here, I'm going to move that hidden field down. Oh, actually, nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Now it's looking pretty. I'll click on save form, preview and preview the design. And then uh, there it is. Don't worry when it's actually on the front end of the website, this doesn't get pushed into the line underneath it. And I got this beautiful calculator here. I can put uh, five gigs and maybe 500 of bandwidth and bam, there is my cost. Now you can do some really 
beautiful and powerful things. And I'm going to expand upon it on my calculator and make one to go on the homepage where you can have a radio option that's images. So someone can choose the image of the logo that they want to compare it to. And then the calculator portion can appear. And then the calculations there, it's so easy to do. The only thing I didn't show you is now that you've done this on your page, you can drag and drop the block and choose that form. If you're an Elementor, they have a native Elementor module. You could do the same thing. Uh, and you also have a short code for page builders that they don't have a native module for. But man, I was surprised at how easy this is to do to make calculations. How powerful is that for you to be able to, number one, do that without any code and have that there. And it really makes an impact when someone can see what it's going to cost them. But taking it a step further, then you can kind of have multiple calculations because then you can say, this is what you're going to save. That right there is very powerful to say, this is how much money you're going to save using this tool versus that other one that you're considering using all else being equal. So uh, anyways, hopefully you found some value in this. I was shocked at how easy it is. If you need Fluent Forms, I have the link and the coupon is very important to coupon down below. Take that over there, save yourself 20%. Now, if you learned something in this video, I need you to give it a thumbs up. YouTube likes it when you do that and it will get this video in front of more people that can benefit it from it just like you did by seeing how easy this thing is. And it was crazy, crazy easy. Questions you can ask down below. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.